Hey y'all, welcome back to Mudged Up Guitars. Today we're checking out this, the Bushido Studio uh, Mudged Up uh, Yamaha is actually what it used to be. Now it's just a Yamaha neck and a Yamaha ripoff of a Floyd Rose Tremolo and some Yamaha sustain bars to bolt in the neck to a Sapili body with a Paduke center stripe. See that goes all the way through. All the covers, there we go. All the covers for all of the electronics are also made of uh, thin sheets of Sapili, as is the veneer to cover the headstock here and the little one to cover up the original serial number. Um, this is my personal guitar, uh, so it is serial number zero actually unengraved. Um, I love this guitar and it would be hard for me to ever part with, but today I'm going to give you a little demo of what she can do. So our controls here are a three-way rotary pickup selector up front on the horn, a uh, volume knob for the bridge pickup, which has a push-push functionality to either have the pickups in polarity with each other for noise cancellation or out of polarity with each other for that kind of uh, quacky middle uh, setting on a strat kind of tone. Uh, very, very Jimmy Page. We'll hear it in a minute. Uh, then we've got two tone knobs. Uh, each, of the, each of these are uh, hooked up to 0 0.033 microfarad uh, paper wax capacitors. So if I just turn one of them, it's a little less than the usual uh, 47 microfarads. It's a not quite as dark as the usual. Um, but if I turn them both on, uh, then I get a deeper slope, a 12 dB per octave slope, and it actually lets you kind of contour your high mid range a little bit. You can get some fun tones out of that as well. And then finally, at the back, we've just got a uh, master volume for setting your tones. So I'm going to start off this demo, switching over to the front pickup here. Uh, let me turn down my microphone. My rig today is just a little pig nose 7100 amplifier that uh, anybody can get uh, and an SM57 that everybody should have. It's going right into the front of my Focusrite interface um, using its onboard pre. So let's see what kind of tones we got out of this. Let me turn off my microphone. Might be a little pop. There you go. There was the, uh, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the neck pickup. Um, I rolled back a single tone, or I rolled back the volume to get a little more clean sound out of it. Rolled back a single tone, rolled back a second tone, uh, and then half rolled one of the tones and left the other one fully rolled to get a little bit more of that uh, kind of less poly uh, woman Eric Clapton tone. Uh, now let's switch over to the bridge pickup. I will open up my tones again, go full volume, lower the volume, give you your volume, your tones, and see what that sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
Now, finally, I'm going to go to both pickups at the same time. Uh, I will play this with the pickups uh, in phase with each other, in polarity with each other first. I'll give you tones. Then I'll hit this again to put the polarities out of phase with each other. And you'll hear that much thinner, much quackier sort of tone. I forgot to mention at the end there, uh, once I have the pickups out of polarity with each other, I can roll back this uh, bridge volume knob and play with the blend between the two to either add or subtract extra bass. That's a feature that you don't normally get out of, out of most other guitars and something a bit unique to this guy here. Uh, last thing to show off to you, is the bridge. This is kind of a weird bridge in that the Floyd Rose A threads all the way through uh, the back. So it's string through right on the back. You don't have to go through the back of the guitar. It just goes right through the back of the bridge and you don't have to cut off the ball ends, which is really nice. Um, but also each individual saddle can be pressed to bend any one of the strings. I believe it goes up to a uh, a whole step if you have it properly tuned and, and set all the way out. So let's see if I can make a sound with this. I've never been very good at this. So let's see what that sounds like.
well, that might not have sounded very good, but in your hands, maybe it could sound better. So this has been the Mudge Up Bushido Studio. Thank you for your time.